Walk with History is on location today from the Jamestown Colony in Virginia. So here we are in the actual visitor center gallery at the colonial or at the Jamestown settlement of the colony of Jamestown. They have great recreations of the first peoples that were here. These are the Padawan people who actually lived here first. And um, this is what their homes would look like. So they have great artifacts. This looks like recreations. I don't know if these are actual artifacts. I don't see anything that's protected for um, humidity. So this looks like it's all recreation. They have these awesome like timeline exhibits. This is really the initial discovery of Jamestown and it's founded 1607. John Smith, this is Pocahontas, this is all of that story, so. Queer Pocahontas. You have the most unusual name too, John Smith. Jamestown is named after James I of England. Mary, Queen of Scots' son. He becomes the king. I think he's James the Eighth, and then he becomes James the First because he's the first king of England. This shows a street scene in England. I have this amazing book from National Geographic that shows a street through time. And when the colonists come over to America, they want to recreate what they know. So that is what is happening here. This is showing African life. So what was going on in Africa at the same time and how African way of life looked, very interesting exhibit. How cool is this? It's like being in an Indian home. This is the central heart for eating and cooking. And fireplace. They have someone talking as you come in. It's very cool. And then it shows the manifest right here. So you got Captain John Smith right there. Pretty cool. What's really neat after you leave the gallery is you walk into a recreation of first people's lives and you have people who are dressed up as the first peoples who were here in Virginia at the time in the 1600s. So a recreation of their homes, a recreation of their lives, you can talk and interact with them. It is so neat. So what's really neat is you can go inside these recreated homes of First Peoples here, and it's just so neat to see how they lived. And all their artifacts we created, like a, an area of necessity over here, and then sleeping quarters over here, and a fire to keep the place warm and things hanging, and ventilation. It's, it is amazing. It is really, really cool to see all of this. It was definitely worth the price of admission. This ship is the Discovery here at Jamestown and this ship is actually 50 feet. So when you think about the Margaret, the ship that actually brings the English colonists here for the first Thanksgiving, it's 35 feet. So it's actually 15 feet shorter 
than this ship. And that's where the English colonists arrive here. And can you imagine? I think they were on it for about two months, too. So I think it was about 35 people on a 35 foot ship. So nothing like a sailor coming onto a ship here. So this is how the ship is driven, right here. So like I said, some ships have wheels, some ships have these. This is just directing the rudder, and that is how the ship is driven. So this is, this is the front of the ship, this is the bow, and then this is the stern of the ship here. This is where captain's quarters were in the back, and the steering for the rudder was right inside there. So at least you weren't in the elements when you were driving the ship. So just like the American Indian village or the First Peoples Village, they have a recreation of an early James, Fort James settlement here at Jamestown. So they have the recreation of the homes they would have built and artisans. Again, you can talk to people and engage and ask them what it was like here in the 1600s to actually live here and to work here and to survive here, what the different homes mean, what's the status of the different homes, who lives in them and things along that nature. But it's really cool. Everything is interactive. You can see my three kids over there engaging with the local looks like roped tool maker but this is really neat you can go in all the buildings and stuff probably livestock meeting houses it looks like a stage over there probably meetings they have the flag and they have a typical fort with the pointy wood at the end to keep bad things out and good things in mm -hmm. 